Good morning, Devils fans. Hope you're enjoying a Monday. It's an early one here at the Floyd L. Mains Veterans Memorial Arena. Guys on the ice, a few of them taking morning skate as Binghamton preparing for Syracuse. Today, 1 p.m. on the road up at the War Memorial. We'll keep it brief today, but we caught up with Devils head coach Rick Kowalski. The crunch rolling, and we asked him what the guys have to watch out for here today. Yeah, you know, again, we, we had a pretty good game against them. Uh, uh, last week I guess and uh, you know they're an aggressive team it's all about pressure and um, you know we, we have to play a simple game get pucks behind we have to make sure that uh, our one-on-one -on -one play is is hard and detailed because uh, you know they they can they can really challenge you and you know if you look at the last time we played them I thought we did a good job and um, you know they ended up Again, capitalizing on some chances in the third period, but you have to play a simple game, especially in that game in that building, and you have to play a hard and fast game as well. The Devils coming off a tough three to two overtime loss to the visiting Utica Comets on Saturday night. A lot of positives though to take out of that game. Bracken Kearns with a goal and Tim Kennedy on the board with his first of the year. Hope you can tune in. Today we'll be on the air at 12.45 with the M&T Bank countdown to face off along the Devils Radio Network, U.S. Country 96.9, 680 AM WINR, and then the iHeart Radio app on your phone or online. You can also watch the game live via AHL Live. It should be a fun one afternoon game if you have the day off. Tune in for another edition of Devils Game Day inside the Florida Mains Veterans Memorial Arena, previewing Binghamton at Syracuse here on Devils Vision. I'm Rob Lapolis.